Hello. In this topic, we're going to take a look at what are delivery units and how to create them. In the next following topics in this section, we'll talk about how to import and export models using delivery units. So as you see here, all the models are a part of a package and the package can be a part of a delivery unit. So it's basically a container where you can store multiple packages and you can deliver a piece of software which is usable and which is deployable. Let's go and see how to create this. So you have right here SAP HANA Modeler Quick View Delivery Unit. So you can click on that, select your system, and then you will see all the delivery units which are created already. So these are all the delivery units which are available for you. So we can click on one of these delivery units and take a look at what's inside. So if you see here, all of these delivery units have some underlying packages. For example, this delivery unit has this package. So you can have multiple packages associated with a delivery unit. Let's go ahead and create one. So we want to create a delivery unit called Training Copa. These are not, these are not mandatory, but if you want to maintain your version, then obviously you can come and give the values here. So now we have a delivery unit called Training Copa and the vendor is Tadio. So this vendor needs to be set at a different place. We will take a look at it. But right now, let's go ahead and put all those packages inside this delivery unit. So I have selected this delivery unit and let's go hit add. And then this is the package which we want to move around. So we will say training Copa and say finish. So like I said before, you can add multiple packages as many as you like and you can transport it at one shot. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and say finish. Now let's go ahead and validate. So we'll go back. So we have training Copa. So training Copa is right here. And you see that we have inside training Copa, we have training Copa package. Okay, wonderful. So I was telling you about this property called TA TDO or the vendor that can be found in the configuration. So if you double click on the on our system and then we can go to configuration and here you can just simply type vendor and here you see that it's defined to TDO. So naturally you can change it to something else. You can say SAP or whoever your vendor is. Wonderful. So that's how you create a delivery unit. In the next topics, we'll see how to import and export them.